You may have heard that Keeping Up with the Kardashians is coming to an end after 14 years and 20 seasons. Last night, the sixth episode of the final season aired. Here's what unfolded. This week, we're introduced to Trevor, a lifeguard who's ostensibly been employed to keep watch over the Kardashians' gaggle of kids at the Malibu house. This would be convincing if a single one of the ten children in question were actually present for this scene. Welcome to Global Icons. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about your favorite celebrities. Instead, Trevor is objectified by the whole family as he gets to work guarding an empty pool. Chris thinks he's really cute and likes the way he's rubbing lotion all over himself. Chloe does us all a favor by pointing out that Chris is acting like a dog with rabies and requests she stop foaming at the mouth. If you hadn't already guessed, Trevor is merely a plot device to help us back into the saga of Courtney and Scott, who is uncomfortable watching his ex flirting with the lifeguard. Scott goes on to reveal that he and Courtney are still in love and have agreed, after repeated conversations, to get back together in the future. This is pretty huge news, since Courtney told Scott on camera in 2017 that she had ruled out ever reuniting with him. During a family dinner, Scott and Courtney are probed with questions about their relationship. He says he loves Courtney and is ready to marry her on the spot, but in a refrain we've come to know all too well, Courtney responds that Scott needs to work on himself before they get back together. The family seems just as confused as I am by this statement, since Scott has worked on himself getting sober and stepping up as the partner and father Courtney once begged him to be. In a confessional, Courtney confirms that she and Scott have discussed reuniting many times but share a private understanding of the changes he needs to make for it to happen. In the first edition of this newsletter, I posited the theory that while Courtney still loves Scott and ultimately wants to be with him, she's absolutely terrified that their past issues will re-emerge and destroy their family forever. In this episode, Courtney confirms this theory by telling her family that while she thinks Scott's handsome, smart, and funny, her anxiety over the past is holding her back from making a final decision on their future. Tristan, who seems to think of himself as an authority on relationships despite only having experience in fucking them up, turns to Courtney and advises her to reunite with Scott because he's worked harder to win her back than Tristan has with Chloe. Rather than being insulted, Chloe takes this as a cue to highlight the levels of dysfunction in their relationship and suggests Tristan propose to her. Scott and Courtney eventually decide to have a private conversation without Tristan's unsolicited input. Scott says that since Courtney has become single he wakes up with no real problems, which must be nice, before telling her they need to figure out whether to get back together or move on once and for all. He also points out that the only thing missing from their relationship is intimacy, which they reserve for other people who then end up jealous over the fact that they don't have the closeness and family that Scoured share. Scott adds that he loves Courtney and wants her to make the final call on whether they'll ever get back together, because she's never closed the door on their relationship. After repeating that Scott knows what he needs to do in order for them to reunite, the pair decide to park this conversation for now and revisit the future of their relationship at a later days. However, Courtney does disclose that this is the first time in a long while that she's been single surprising news that is completely at odds with her public narrative. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.